First and foremost, glad to be here. Uh, my name is Lawrence Bowers. I am a graduate of the University of Missouri. I uh, graduated in 2012 with my bachelor's in sociology. I graduated with a master's a year later. A few of the things that I do in the community, um, I think number one would be my basketball camp. I started LBO Sports, which is my own company. I started it in 2014. I uh, started all by working with a handful of kids in a, in a basketball gym, just trying to help them get better in the game. And then it blossomed into something that is just beyond my imagination. I also now help lead the NIL Collective, which is also a nonprofit, Every True Tiger Foundation. We're the preferred collective of the University of Missouri Athletic Department. Switched the model and applied for 501c3 status, which we were approved. Uh, just felt like it would be more beneficial to the people who are donating to the NIL. And also, it creates a win-win-win situation. And the reason why I say win-win-win is because the athletes, obviously, they win because they're able to be compensated, something that's long overdue. Uh, the second win would be the community. The community is benefiting from these athletes' efforts because we're pairing them with other nonprofits and we're paying them to do community events, you know, participate in camps, um, go read at schools, stuff of like that nature. So that's the second win. And then ultimately, the University of Missouri wins because if we're doing our part with their athletes and in the same community, Columbia is a college town, um, everybody benefits, especially the universities. I know one thing um, that I love Lawrence about. It's, it's the same. And, and because I, I love what he stands for. Um, the, the thought that always comes to my mind is heart. The guy could do whatever he wants to do, and it doesn't have to be in Como. And so um, I, I, I tease him all the time that, that you know, he, he won the hearts of this community. I had some really, really tough years financially growing up. Uh, my mom was single, and um, I always had good people that kind of stepped into my life and made sure I didn't miss a beat. And uh, so I always told myself whenever I got in a position to reach back and help at least one kid that I would do it. And it just so happened that, you know, last year I reached back and helped 437 kids. Anything that the community needs of me, I try to be there. I love kids and everything I do is simply out of uh, reciprocity.